Hello friends, I want to welcome you to another 3ABN Today program. My name is Jill Morricone and I'm here in our 3ABN kitchen with, kitchen with my good friend Kiong Weathersby. Hi Jill. So glad <laughs> yeah. to have you here Kiong. So good to see you again and good to cook with you. That's again. right. Yeah. Kiong's all the way from Mena, Arkansas oh, and yeah. she has a ministry taste of heaven and mm -hmm. ministry and we'll hear a little more about that ministry in a few minutes. But first Kiong, tell our friends why we're all dressed up like this. Uh, today, now I'm going to show you how to make a healthy party food. Oh, we're having yeah. a party theme. That's right. That's wonderful. Yeah. You could have parties maybe Christmas, New Year's, New Year's, Fourth of July. Yeah, and a birthday, you know, wedding. Absolutely. And we just get together with friends and fellowship, and we feel like to learn how to make finger food. Yes. And uh, maybe this program's for you. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Um, Why don't you tell our friends what we're going to be making? Okay, first recipe I'm going to share how to make lunch meat. It's like a chicken like. And you can just uh, fix like a finger food. Mm. Then next I'm one, worried. it will be VLT. It's not VLT. <laughs> but with the veggie meat, lettuce, tomato, and sandwich. It's so delicious. We're using the chicken like in that sandwich. That's right. Good, okay. That's right. And then third one, I'm going to show you how to make a miracle whip. Uh, you can make with all kinds. You can make dip or you can nice. use it as uh, chicken, I mean, like a potato salad, Absolutely. pasta salad, anything. Absolutely. Good. And then fourth one, I love to share the chicken-like salad Ooh. from the lunch meat and the tofu miracle wheel. Yes, okay. that sounds good. So we combine those recipes and put it together. That's right. Good. Then from Fifth one, pecan pies for you. Mm, thank <laughs> you, Kyung. You love <laughs> Kyung knows you I love, love the pie. Yeah. That's right. Then uh, <laughs> next one, I'm going to share how to make cupcakes. But this Ooh. is a totally vegan kettle of chocolate cupcakes. Nice. Delicious. That sounds good. You can decorate with uh, some uh, just strawberries. Ooh, and pretty. Yeah. Then the last one. This is a yummy cookie called a coconut cookie. Coconut cookies. Yeah, I'm oh. very excited to share them with yes. you. Yes. Well, friends, grab your pens and your papers and get ready to write down the recipes as we share them with you. But first, we have a special song by Emily Feltz Jones entitled Let Them In.
Thank you, Emily, for that beautiful song. You know, friends, um, Emily is one of Kyung's favorite yeah, artists. Yeah, it really touched my heart. I'm so grateful Emily to sing for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's very, very program. special. I love yeah. that song. Me yeah, too. Beautiful yeah. message. Amen. Well, for our friends at home, if you've never met Kyung, I know she's been here a few times to our 3ABN cooking set, and we've done several different programs together. But if you're a new viewer and you've never seen her, I want to introduce you to Kyung here. She's from Mina, Arkansas, and she has a ministry, Taste of Heaven Ministry. Tell us, Kyung, about your ministry, what you do. Oh, uh, Taste of Heaven Ministry, I usually go out to teach people, mm -hmm. you know, how to cook healthy in God's health message way. Yes. So I can, uh, so God can relieve them from their sickness and suffering, and absolutely. they can have a better life. Amen, yeah. absolutely. You do all kinds of cooking schools and yes. go out and present things and help people. Yes. And something that's very special, we shared a little bit the last time you were here, there's a um, TV station down right. in Mina, Arkansas, uh -huh. where she lives. And um, they taped several cooking programs with you. This right. is a secular TV station. Yes. Tell us how that came about. Oh, well, the director of a uh, uh, TV station mm -hmm. just contacted me. They, they like to produce healthy cooking school. Mm. And I told them, well, you know, I'm vegan vegetarian. They said, oh, that's fine. <laughs> they would like to produce a cooking show. So mm -hmm. we have done some cooking show with RMCC TV in Mina. And uh, amazingly how the law works, oh. there's a lot of people actually touched by the message. Amen. It's not my message, it's God's message. Absolutely. And uh, they want to eat healthy. So, uh, so, so I've been blessed by that. Praise God. You've Praise got four God. of them? Is it five? Five, oh, five of them? Yes. Okay. And they're all DVDs? Yes, That's I have a DVD. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you like to uh, purchase those DVDs, okay. it's available for you. Okay, good. Yes. Good, and we'll give you Kyung's address at the end of the program right. if you want to contact her for that. That's exciting. And you know, Kyung, the thing that impresses me the most about it is that these are secular people. Yeah. It seems like he was an atheist. Yeah. Right. He's, the director. He doesn't right. even believe in God, and here he's into this health message. Yeah. Praise God. That's Praise wonderful. God. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is amazing about a uh, director and camera crews mm -hmm. and you know, all the people working at the station, they are not Christian. Yes. They are not vegetarian. Yes. <laughs> so it's not really easy uh, place to do cooking show, yes. especially vegan vegetarian way. Absolutely. But uh, they are accepting very oh. well. So Praise God. I want to praise God. That's right. Now you have four cookbooks before we start our party right. that I want to show our friends at home. Kyung has four cookbooks. There they are. Taste of Heaven, book one, two, three, and then the last one's main dishes, right? Yes. What could our friends find in all these cookbooks if they wanted to buy them? Uh, most of them can call me okay. or several uh, ABC bookstores or okay. health food stores and they are carrying my cookbooks. Good. And Amazing they, facts carry my cookbook. Okay. They yeah. have breakfast items. Breakfast and, and the bread, and main dishes, lunch, and my favorite Hager, dessert. <laughs> and dressing, <laughs> cheese recipe, and anything that's yeah, you good. like to cook in a healthy way. Oh, praise yeah, God. That's mind. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Now we're having a party today. Right. Yes. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm very excited to share this first recipe yes. called the lunch meat. Oh, good. Let's mm. read that recipe. For lunch meat, chicken like. You need three quarter cup of raw cashews, two cups of water, one quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of chicken-like seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, two cups of vital gluten flour, and two tablespoons of whole wheat flour. You know, Kyung, I love your gluten. I remember last time you came, we made a, a variety of yeah. your gluten. It's so tender and moist and good, so oh, I'm excited about this. If you this. like it, you will love this one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go and start. What First, we what we need to do, let's go and put some two cups of water okay. in the blender. It's a really simple recipe. And uh, then after that, this is all dumping recipe. Let's go oh, and put good. some cashew. Okay. You know, the raw cashew has very high in fiber and Ooh. protein, uh, potassium and That's iron. Uh -huh. So it's really good for you. That's good. The next one, I'm going to put some uh, nutritionist yes. flakes. And nutritionist flakes, maybe a lot of people that didn't know what they are. They right. are very high in vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12. Also high in protein and fiber. Mm. Mm. So it's very important vitamins for your function, for your brain. Oh. 
Okay. Yes, yeah, nice. so that's neat. Okay. Now we could get it at the health food store, right? Health food you, store. Okay. So it tastes so good. Right. Without it, it might not taste very good. <laughs> right. Okay. Next. What's next? I put the sea salt. Okay. And and chicken likes seasoning right. from my recipe. Okay. And the onion powder and the garlic powder. And then we are going to just blend them until smooth. Okay. And that's your job. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> we'll and you, if I can do this here. <laughs> Okay. It has okay. to be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth? Yes. No little cashew pieces in there. No, we Let don't want it to have any chunky. Okay, I'm going to make some noise here. That looks pretty that good. good. Okay. Now at home, would you blend it longer? Or is this yeah, a good amount? Yeah, at home, please blend a little longer. Uh -huh. Nice and smooth is the key. Yes, absolutely. Okay, next one, I will put some gluten flour. Okay. And uh, you can find this gluten flour from any grocery store right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I can just put right here so you can see it. Okay. Then uh, we're going to add... Uh, Wheat flour. Good. Then mix it really good mm -hmm. here. And, and this is a gluten flour. This is all a protein substrate from the whole wheat. The gluten so, flour is a, a protein? The whole, the protein from substrate from the wheat. It comes out of the wheat? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and add, add it this. here. Hopefully there's no chicken pieces, you guys. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty smooth. Oh, pretty got a little chunky in there. Yeah. Let's put it over here so okay. <laughs> it will be crisp. Well, at home you're supposed to blend it longer than I just did. Okay. <laughs> okay. After that. Oh, you, you mix it with your hands. Yeah, you got to mix right. it with your hand. Very nice. And what is different with another recipe, mm -hmm. this one is watery. So oh, don't worry about it. This has okay. to be watery. Okay. Yeah. So you want it a little bit, not real stiff, a not little bit really moist. Stiff, right. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. it smells good. I can smell, smell it. Smells oh, really yeah. good. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. This is done right here. Good. The next step I will show you. I'm going to go and take my gloves off. Okay. And just make sure spray on your countertop. Okay. Now, I like to have that. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Then you need to you shape about eight inches long. Okay. That will be perfect size for the lunch meat. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, like, like a little that. roll. Yeah, little That's roll. Cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where? Okay, this is perfect here. Okay. Then after that, what you need to do, yes. you need to have some parchment paper. Mm -hmm. Take it out like this. This is so simple recipe. And go ahead and put it in on the parchment paper. Okay. Just roll it really tight. Oh! Tight this like is this. Neat. I don't think we've done this before. We've no, this is a brand new recipe. Okay, this yeah. is exciting. Then after that, you will need some uh, aluminum foil. Okay. You take it out like that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Then go ahead and cover this one. Okay. And roll it really tight again one more oh. time. Oh! Now, what's the purpose of doing this? We are baking in the oh, oven. You know, okay. other gluten, we always have a broth. Absolutely. But this one, you need it's to baked. turn over 325 degrees mm -hmm. and bake for one and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. This one, we're going to put in the oven. Or and pretend it's in the oven. <laughs> and this one is already pre done. That one's baked. Okay. Yeah, already baked. Oh, so yes. you can just mm -hmm. take it out like that. Let me see what it looks like. It will look like this. Oh my! Isn't that amazing? That's a huge difference in consistency. Yeah, yeah. it is. Wow. Then okay. when it come out from the oven, please let it cool completely. Okay. okay. So you can slice easily. I will show you that I will slice. Look oh. at that, how easily you can just slice. Wow. You can slice the thin pieces. Can I feel? Yeah. Wow. Or you can slice it. Thick pieces, you can do so many different recipes this is like, like this. The one. stuff you buy in the store. Oh, is it You're really? You're professional, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> At you know why you put it in here. Absolutely. You know okay. what goes in it. You made it, right? So, Very several good. things what we can do. Maybe we can show the uh, yeah. finished product. Then oh, this is cute. Very nice. 
You can see all the little slices yeah. there, and you garnished it. Right, as oh, you know, there. Them. This is a party theme. That's so right. So we are making some finger food. So I'm going to show you how to make this finger food here. Okay. Very simple. This one. Can I try. Yeah, I bought it from the dollar store. It's cute. Yeah, it's, it's very cheap. It's only dollar. Okay. <laughs> then uh, just anything you want to put it. I will just put some uh, red grapes. Okay. Then you can put some lunch meat in the middle. Then put some uh, green grapes. Now, this is the same lunch meat, you just cubed it. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. nice. Good. And it cubes real good. Oh, it's cute. Okay, and then over I here, maybe that. we can. This one now, they decorate with the uh, crackers. Okay. So you can slice meat and cut it little piece here. Uh huh. Then you want to decorate this anything you want. Oh, I'll cute. just put it like that. Mm -hmm. Aww, and then you put a little sprig of something. Yeah, that would be even <gasps> Isn't better. That cute. Yeah. You want to taste okay. it? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. Mmm, mm, yum mm -hmm. yum. <laughs> That's very very good. Okay. Mm. Okay, we can move to the next recipe. I gotta eat some more of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to our next recipe. The VLT. For the VLT instead of the BLT. We're going to take three toasted slices of whole wheat bread, four slices of lunch meat, lettuce, two sliced tomatoes, and long toothpicks. Okay, Kyung, we're using the same luncheon meat that we just made, right? Right, right. You know, I was traveling with my sister mm -hmm. and my brother-in-law. And uh, I have nothing to eat when we went to restaurant. Right. So I said, oh, bring me a BLT without bacon. <laughs> <laughs> then I said, why don't I make some BLT with veggie meat? This is how the recipe born. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a really simple VLT. Okay? Good, okay. So what you need to do, you need to have some toast bread. Mm -hmm. And... Let's put some two sliced lunch meat. Yes, yeah. that lunch meat is so good, you guys. <laughs> oh, you have to Thank try that you. at home. I like then you that. need a lettuce. Yes. And tomato. tomato. Then you will need another piece okay. of toast bread. Very then cute. we're going to repeat again. Oh, so some... they're super thick. Yeah, it's not yes. really thick. But this is how they make in restaurants. Right. So okay. I want to make it Just pretty, like that. Right. pretty close to restaurant. Mm -hmm. And you just you finish the with the uh, toast. This yeah. is so thick, so I want you to go and secure <gasps> with <It's> so <laughs> some toothpick. If you don't have this party theme, you know, remember, this is party theme. That's <laughs> right, we're having a party. Absolutely. So then you slice it this you way. cut it in half. Yeah, cut it in half. Okay. So oh, that looks how simple it is. Do you know, yeah. I like that. Here we have one all done too. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Look at them all. They're so cute, like little firecrackers they went off. Yeah. The They're very, very It would be a good recipe for the 4th of July. Of course. <laughs> Party theme, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I you want to taste it. Would you like okay. to taste it? Absolutely. This is a thick sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Go and take the... <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so how simple and nutritious and I've been studying about lettuce. Lettuce mm -hmm. is very high in um, calcium and iron mm -hmm. and potassium and also, you know, it's good for your skin and joint muscles and so it's really good. And tomatoes, mm. you know, it's fighting for cancer, especially prostate cancer. Absolutely. And it helps you to uh, circulate your blood. Uh, help your blood circulate? Yeah, help you to circulate your I blood and your heart. Mm. So it's such a good mm. sandwich for you. Absolutely. Okay. And it's yummy and yeah. it looks so party -ish. You know what? Yes, it I is. I feel like I need a party hat or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to our next recipe. Next one, we're going to go to the Tofu Miracle Whip. Oh, fun. Very nice. Let's read that recipe for Tofu Miracle Whip. You need one package of tofu. That's the Mori New Silken variety. One quarter cup of soy milk powder, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of canola oil, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and two tablespoons of turbinado sugar. You know, I really like this, Kyung, because Miracle Whip is something you buy in the store, but yeah. it's hard to replace. I mean, who makes a Miracle Whip substitute? So, <laughs> that's very nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, the God is so good. 
He inspired me with so many good recipes. Oh. Now, this is a miracle whip I used to love to uh, do with the potato salad, pasta salad, yes. or put it on my like a sandwiches. Mm -hmm. But you know, the uh, miracle whip contains egg and vinegar, refined yes. white sugar. It's yes. a really harmful to you. So I'm going to show you how to make a healthy way. Oh, that's okay. exciting. Really yeah. easy, very simple. This is okay. dumping and blending recipe. My kind of recipe, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, first we need... Start a, with the tofu. Yeah, tofu. Now this is the more new tofu, but you can buy that in any grocery store nowadays. Yes. <laughs> it's not so you special. Know that, right, right. Tofu made from the soybean, uh -huh. and uh, it's such a it's very high in uh, protein and iron and also calcium. Mm. And also good for your heart and lower yes. your cholesterol and prevent getting from cancer. Ooh, so why so not eat tofu good for more you. often? Absolutely. Okay, soy milk powder, also made from the soy. Good. Soy bean. And then uh, there's lemon juice. So you like to use a fresh lemon juice, don't you? Yes. Yeah. It tastes Absolutely. much better. Absolutely. And our onion powder? Onion powder and sea salt. Uh -huh. And we need some little bit of canola oil. Okay. And very high in omega-3. Canola such a, oil? Yeah, it's good. Oh. High in omega-3, which is really good for your brain functioning. I didn't know and that. And if you have depressed, and you need to eat a lot of omega-3 food. It's like a flexin and canola oil and walnuts. It helps deal with depression. Yeah, it right. really is depression. It works for the brain, that, that right. omega-3. Right. Yeah, that's neat. Then There's, we have garlic. Uh, yes, garlic powder. Garlic. Then, you know that our uh, microwave kind of a sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. So we need to add some uh, sugar. Absolutely. But, but this is like called the tabinado sugar. sugar. Yeah. It's more like a raw sugar that mm -hmm. uh, you can get from any grocery store right now. Yes. Because the sugar in the raw. Uh -huh. And uh, it contains uh, calcium, iron, and potassium in sugar. Isn't it good news? Yeah. Now tell me, Kyung, what's wrong with regular sugar you can buy in the store? Um, I mean, we've heard white sugar is a little more refined, but what about brown sugar? Brown sugar, after you make the white sugar mm -hmm. and the whatever left over, there's a brown sugar. So it's really oh. harmful to you. Yeah. So it's the leftover it. product from yeah. the white sugar? white sugar. After they all make the white sugar, okay. and the whatever left over, the last sugar they ever makes brown sugar. Oh, and how do they get the brown color then, if it was white? Oh, they they had <laughs> Good question. Yeah, because I'm thinking if it's white, something had to happen there. Yeah, probably right. they already have some little bit of molasses left right. over. Then they add it. Yeah, right. add it to ah. it. So this is the good kind. Right. Tribunato. Can you get that in the grocery store? Yes. Or you have to go to the health food store. Oh, you can get it from grocery store good. now these days. Good. Okay. They're yeah, all in TV, just blend it until it's smooth. Okay. When you don't have a. Uh, by the mix, mm -hmm. uh, you need to kind of a baby your blender. Like my bit. blender at home, you just yeah. work it, work it, work right. it. Yeah, okay. Let's go low. Oh, it help is. if I plug it in. <laughs> Let me plug it in back here. Yeah? <laughs> okay, there we that go. That happened to me all the time. <laughs> Go and stir, stir it this one time okay. because I want it to be really nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, there's some sugar stuck and in the side. People who've never had a tofu miracle whip, they wouldn't know the differences, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, okay, we'll try one more time. One more time. <laughs> yeah, how Good. simple it is. That's Very all nice. done. And Good. the next recipe I'm going to oh. share with you. Oh, we got a fish <laughs> got a <shoulder> first. <laughs> Remember that this is a party theme. Nice. So I've, you can use just a dip. So I have some vegetable mm -hmm. and uh, some Very lunch cute. meat. Very yeah. Absolutely. We can serve to your families and friends. That's neighbors. right. Like yeah. nice little hors d'oeuvres or something. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're, now we're mixing the Miracle Whip you were saying. Miracle with... Whip and lunch meat. We're going to make chicken-like salad for Ooh, next recipe. Yummy. Let's read that recipe. For chicken-like salad, you need two cups of ground lunch meat, chicken flavor, one celery stalk chopped, one half onion chopped, and one cup of the tofu miracle whip that we just made. This looks really good. Yeah. I like it because we're using the chicken meat that we just used and then the, the tofu miracle whip. Right, That's right. Exciting. Really simple recipe. As you see, only four ingredients. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. Let's go ahead and put this. Uh, 
going to make two so these cups. these are the same ones that we Yes, I slice them so uh -huh. uh, it's easy to process in the food right. processor. And you need to just process it really fine okay. because this is a chicken-like salad. Yes. Okay. And then some No, that's oh, the no. only one we're going to blend Oh, that's the only one. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Let me start it here. A little more? Yeah, okay. Little more. Is that good? Yeah. Very oh, good. Oh, yes. Very nice. It looks like chicken. Let's go Let in just a little bit. This. Yeah. Okay. In here. This makes a ground chicken. <laughs> it does. You're right. Okay. Next one, we're going to put some celery. Okay. It's already pre chopped. Yeah. And the onions. If you don't like the raw onion, you can kind of cook. Like Kyung just heated it up for me a little bit. That was very nice. <laughs> because Jill doesn't like the raw onion. Yes. Then we just make the tofu miracle whip. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. I like it. So I'm... simple recipe and very delicious. It would be very good for a party. Yes, Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I think it is pretty good. Then all you need to do is to mix it. Oh, that's easy, yeah. Kyung. Very so, nice. So, you know, the uh, lunch meat has all the protein that you need. Yes. And uh, we have some cashew in here, so you will get some uh, fibers. Yes. And the calcium uh -huh. and iron. Yes. And uh, this celery is such a good for you. It prevents cancer. Celery does? Celery what does type of there. cancer? Or just any type uh, of cancer? Is there any kind of cancer? It's amazing. All right, this is all done. Oh, it looks good. Okay, well, I think we have finished products Yummy. we can show to the viewer. So how simple it is. Oh, these are yes. cute. Now remember that this is a party dip. So we yes. decorate everything there. This is a finger food that Absolutely. you can... Absolutely. Who wouldn't like to eat that? Oh, I'd like to eat that. <laughs> wouldn't you like to eat that? That, that looks okay. very good. I'm going to show you the, how I decorate those ones. It's okay. so simple. The, the one in the middle was just this, right? Yeah, just, just the, the chicken. Right, okay. just chicken. Okay. Chicken lunch meat. That's right. <laughs> chicken, right. <laughs> and right here, triangles. This okay. is a little toast bread. Yes. Go ahead and cut the edge. Yes, uh, the crust. Yeah, crust. Okay. Then, and just cut in triangle like this. Okay. Then cut it one more time. Oh, okay. nice. Then how pretty it is. And they're all, very little. Then the all you need to do, you put some uh, topping. Yeah, you with see. The, yeah. Like that. Okay. Then you can what? go ahead and decorate with anything you like. Very nice. Yes. This one I would like to decorate with. Some berry, red bell pepper. Very nice. If you like mushroom on mine. Yeah, if you like some uh, black olive, then put Come some on, on here. Then let's put with the parsley. Oh, Doesn't it yeah. look good? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And it's so cute. You know, I'm thinking if you have kids, you can get your kids in the yeah. kitchen and just working with yeah. that. That's fun. Yeah. 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 And uh, your guests will love it. Oh, Then yeah. another thing you can do, you can get some scoop chip. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I will go ahead and put some uh, filling. In here, like oh, this. Cute. Then you can kind of decorate with some mushroom, uh -huh. sliced mushrooms. Very and what cute. I'm missing. Okay, carrots. Put some okay. carrots. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> All right. Let's try it. Can we try it? Oh, yes. Yeah. I would like to try this one. Okay. I'm going to just try the filling. Mmm. 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 That's really good. Mmm. -hmm. Really recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. Mm. I can eat this whole bowl of mine. <laughs> that's very, very good. Oh, it's fantastic, and it's so easy. Very easy and simple. Yes, that's mm. right. Let's go to our pecan pie, right? We're making pie. Pecan pie. Yummy. I love pie. For that, you need three tablespoons of soy flour, five tablespoons of cornstarch, three-quarter cup of soy milk, one cup of maple syrup, one-half cup of turbinado sugar, one quarter cup of canola oil, one teaspoon of vanilla, one quarter teaspoon of sea salt, one cup of pecan halves. Well, this looks nice and easy, Kyung. Yes. But before we do the recipe, friends, we want to tell you why we're doing, besides it's a party theme, but why we're doing all of these yummy desserts. Because Kyung worked with some kids there yeah. in Nina, Arkansas. Yeah. They did a VBS, right? A right. Bible uh -huh. school? And mm -hmm. then tell us what you did after that. And 
You know, we I did only one recipe for the uh, VBS, mm -hmm. and the children really love to learn how to cook healthy yes. food. So I said, oh, let's do the uh, VBS follow-up. So we invite the children, and okay. then we invite the grown-up, and uh, this is a picture that maybe explain everything to you. Okay, let's look at those pictures. It's now. all about. Oh, cute! She's working with you in the kitchen. Yeah, there. I have so many uh, volunteers to come out and help okay, me. Nice. Okay, nice. Maybe we can go next one. Oh, Look at their the children. Kids. They are so behaved. Oh. They're eager to learn how to cook. Yes. She's she's uh, she's uh, helping me how to make cupcake. Oh, yes. fun! Yes. She's so cute. And the little boy came out and he was tasting like a frost. Oh, I like that job, the frosty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah frosty, you did all kinds yeah. of healthy desserts then and for the, the kids. Okay. Right, we did all the healthy desserts. Uh -huh. And uh, she was helping me making some uh, cookies. Oh, yeah. oh, that's precious. And the the little little kids another in. boy came out and he was eager to just volunteer oh, to make cookies. Yes, something. absolutely. And then look at them, grown-ups and children, and they're that's just right. uh, eager to learn how to make. Wow. And then <laughs> there I you are. Some, <laughs> yeah, I'll make some uh, pudding and show them how it looks. Very and nice. Oh, oh, they're eating. They're, this last session there just cannot wait to line up and taste all the food, and they yes. all love them. So, oh, so. that's exciting. <laughs> were these community people or were they right. church members? No, they are from the community, and they never <gasps> taste the. Uh, a vegan, uh, healthy, you know, healthy dessert, but they right. all love them. So next three recipes, then I'm going to share it with you. And I'm working on fifth cookbook they call the right. All Healthy Dessert. So these three recipes are going to be in my next cookbook. I'm excited to get that cookbook, <laughs> friends. You know that because you know I love desserts. So that's yeah. exciting, Kyung, a whole cookbook of desserts. Right. And to me, they're healthy. Right. And that's what I like. It's yeah. not like you eat it and you feel like you're going to gain a lot of weight or you're going to get right. sick yeah. or, you know, you're weakening your immune system. Mm. But this is healthy. Delicious yeah. Food that we can yes. eat. Actually, it's good for you. Absolutely. Okay, let's go and move to the... Well, um, praise God, that must have been really fun working with all those kids. It was lots of fun, yeah. lots of fun, rewarding, such a rewarding. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, we're putting maple syrup okay, first. Okay, maple syrup first. All right. Do you need this one? We will need all that. All that? Okay. <laughs> Every drop. Yeah, there's a lot of drop in there. There is, you're right. <laughs> and we need soy milk. Okay. Uh, by the way, this one has uh, no egg whatsoever. You know, you need about three to six eggs to make a pecan pie, yeah. no egg. Wow. And uh, we are using soy uh, flour. Okay. That's the binding. That's for, the place of the egg? Right. Okay. Then this will be thickening. We need some um, cornstarch. Corn starch. Uh, absolutely. Let me yeah. use this little guy again. So um, you use this pecan pie recipe. You taught the kids how to make it and their parents. Uh, this one I didn't do that. Not the pie recipe, but the next two. Right. right. Oh, fun. This is our turbinado sugar. Turbinado sugar. Then and we need some uh, canola oil. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of sea salt. Good. And you need to have a salt to make it good. Absolutely. And the last one is vanilla extract. Good. The oil you need to do just whisk up. Blend it. Yeah. I think I'm getting better at blending here, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Practice to make perfect. <laughs> That's right. It? The okay. reason we have to blend it because uh, those uh, soy flour uh -huh. is really kind of have really crumbs in, yes. crumbs in there, so it's yes. hard to stir. Absolutely. So what you need to do, go ahead and put this in. Okay. Stove top. Are you going to cook this until uh, bring to a boil? Until it boils. And uh, okay. thicken. And this one takes about five to six minutes. So, right. you know, we don't have We're not going to wait for five that. or six minutes. Yeah, so I already pre cooked. Oh, this one's already done. Yeah, you already, already done. It and this is how we look. And Very uh, you nice. will need a, a pre baked pie crust. Now, for our friends at home, do you have recipes for pie crust in your cookbooks? Yes. Okay. Uh, if okay. you have uh, my cookbook, it's mm -hmm. in the cookbook one. Okay. <laughs> and pie crust. Recipe and, for pie yes. crust. Yes. Good. Or if you don't have one cookbook, then email me or call me, and I will give you a pie crust recipe. Okay, good. That's okay. nice. Let's it's go a good-looking pie crust, Kyung. I like it very much. <laughs> I spend a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, a pie crust Working is not on. easy, no. you know, to get the little edges perfect. This pie crust recipe, you can make some homemade cracker. And my Ooh. grandson, Malachi, loves it. Yes. And my husband and my grandson, they're fighting over <laughs> <laughs> those crackers. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops, is there more? Got a little more. Okay. 
got it on. So it thickens up real nicely. I can yeah. see that, Kion. First, when you boil it, when it's hot, mm -hmm. it's kind of a, a foggy. Yes. Foggy looking, but after a while, it's going to be It becomes clear. clear. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you wait till it cools before you put it in the pie crust, or you don't have to? Oh, uh, you don't have to. It just cooled here. Yeah. But you wouldn't have to. You okay. don't have to do that. Okay. As long as the pie crust is cool, then it's yes. ready. Yes, absolutely. After Very this cute. one, what you need to do, we're going to put some uh, pecan oh, herbs. Oh, nice. This orange around it. Like, like this? this? Yeah, go all the way around to make it really pretty. Very cute. And now, then, pecans are good for you, aren't they? Pecans is, is very high in protein and good fat, oh. which is uh, opens your artery. Oh, And okay. also high in fiber uh -huh. and uh, calcium. It's, it's very good for you. Very because nice. of that, you lower your cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, which is really good for your heart. Absolutely. Okay. Very and we have a few that we can show to you. Oh, nice. And you put more pecans, you would yeah. fill the whole thing. When you have pecans, pecan, just put it all the way around it. And uh -huh. you can just bake it at 350 degrees for okay. 20 minutes, and then it will look like that. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. You did a really, really uh, good job. Do you want to taste some? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is dessert, right? <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and cut it. You got to try some, too. Uh, <laughs> people probably want to know it. Is it cut nicely? This one cuts really nicely. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Because, you know, some vegan pies you try to make, and guess what happens? It falls apart. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I've tried some of those. Uh -oh. Yeah. I don't think I have a plate. You don't have a plate. Okay. <laughs> I'll just show it to you. Yeah. Let me see. I have a pie. Maybe we'll taste yeah. it after program. Okay. It's come out nice and clean. Oh, yes. Make sure they cool completely. Very then when you slice nice it, come out like this. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we That's later. Oh, okay. Let's okay. Make the next recipe. And the next one is one that you did with the Cup, children. Right? Yeah, cupcake. Oh, fun. Let's read that recipe for carob chocolate cupcakes. You need one and one half cups of oat flour, one cup of unbleached white flour, one half cup of carob powder, one half cup of vegan carob chips, one quarter cup of wheat germ, one tablespoon energy baking powder, one teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon coriander, three quarter cup of turbinado sugar, one half cup of canola oil, one and one half cups of apple juice, and one tablespoon of vanilla. This is exciting, Kyung, because it's there's so many chocolate recipes out yeah. there, and it's neat to find a carob one that actually tastes good. Right, you tastes know? good and good for you. Absolutely. And there's no caffeine, so it won't make you nervous. Oh, right. So we can go ahead and start and then show viewer how to do step by step. Yes, and if kids can make this, we can make this, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start with the one and a half cup oat okay. flour. And uh, if you can find the oat flour, then you need a blender. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put a one and a half cup and roll oats and blend okay. it to make flour. And that's okay. how I did it at home. Okay, good. Okay. Yes, I've done that too. It works pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Next one is going to be uh, unbleached white flour. Okay. And uh, kettle powder. And this is the key, kettle powder. It's like a chocolate substitute. Yes. And uh, you can find it from the tree called the locust. Mm -hmm. And it's very high in fiber. And uh, it's good uh, nutrition in there. Yes, yes. absolutely. So, they say carob is very good for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, you know, the chocolate is very bitter. So if they yes. want to make it sweet, and they add a lot of refined white right. sugar to make it right. sweet. And right. Okay, yeah. next one, we need some carob chips. Okay, now the, where could you find these carob chips? All these the you can find in the health food store. store. Okay, yes. good. And then wheat jam. We will need a wheat, wheat jam. jam. Now that's neat. I wouldn't have thought to put wheat germ in there. That's that's pretty neat. The reason I'm putting it, this is the you know this is vegan and a yes, healthy cooking absolutely. program. So unbleached white flour actually has no uh, nutrition whatsoever. Yes. No fiber. Right. No vitamin A mm -hmm. or E. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding some wheat germ to make wholesome. Yes, okay. that's good. Okay, next one we need uh, uh, energy baking powder. Okay. Well, I want to talk to you about uh, energy baking powder. A lot of people. Want to know what is energy baking powder? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are most of uh, baking powder, baking soda is really, really harmful yes. to your nerve and your stomach yes. and your blood. 
So we need to stay away from the baking soda mm -hmm. and baking powder. And right. this is the really healthy leavening, some new to And it makes it rise. You and it's rise. a quick rise, and I like that. Yeah. It's not like using yeast, because you have to wait a while, yeah. and it takes longer. Yeah. So that's a quick rise. Right. Yeah. Okay, next one, need a sea salt. Okay. Coriander. Coriander, okay. And uh, tabinado sugar. Yes, there's our special okay. sugar again, right? <laughs> Whoops. There we and go. He kind of gets stuck. Yeah. Then we're going to go and mix the dry ingredients first. Okay. And the God inspired me to come up with a healthy dessert cookbook yes. because, you know, all those baked goods desserts are very high in refined white sugar, Absolutely. refined flowers. Yes. And uh, butter, very, they're using mm. butter a lot. You know, right. they will crack your blood system. Yeah. And right. also, you know, they're using so much. Uh, uh, what is air, yes. then milk, yes. it will really yeah. clap you off. Yes. So this is right. a healthy way you can Absolutely. make okay. Okay. Next okay. one, we will add some canola oil again. Okay. And add some uh, apple juice. And this is like your natural sweetener. Well, we have some tabinata sugar. You have the sugar, sugar too, but this, that's, that's pretty nice. I it like that. It just brings a good flavor. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the vanilla. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Go ahead and just. Mix it really oh, good. it smells good. <laughs> I can smell that. It smells very good. While yeah. you're doing it, I'm going to go ahead and put some liner, cupcake liner here. Oh, yeah. They're cute. And they, yeah. they got little balloons for our party, you guys. Yeah. Very you can, cute. You know, we can make this one for the birthday yes. or anniversary. Absolutely. Any occasion, if you like to have some cake, you can make some healthy That's cupcakes. That's right. And I've been introduced to a lot of people who love to eat real chocolate cupcakes, yes. they really like this right. recipe a lot. So this one you can make about 12 cupcakes. Okay. So if you want to make perfect cupcakes, you ice cream scoop works yes. really good. So Use you the ice cream scoop, that's right. Scoop it out and put it in here. Oh yeah. yeah. So they all come out the same size. Yeah, same uh -huh. size. Mm -hmm. uh, one cup it would be perfect like yes this. one scoop is yeah, just one totally scoop. fills it that's right yes. and you can bake it at 350 degrees okay. for 25 to 30 minutes okay. and then until it's come out clear like in the middle the toothpick you stick it in and yeah. see if it comes out clean okay. and then we have a finished product we can we show do. to you yeah. oh nice mm. and they do rise i can see that the yeah. energy baking powder work in there yeah it really works there and just go. decorate with something you can eye it's appealing beautiful. with it. Absolutely. You know, strawberry is really good. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. Kyung. You know, I think the people, all the children and grown up, they were jumping into it. Absolutely. <laughs> when you have a party. Oh, Remember yeah. that this is a party theme. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think hors d'oeuvres, you know, little yeah. finger foods and stuff is very important for a party as well as desserts. That's right. And we're doing both of those today. You know, so that's perfect. When you have a party, you got to have a cookies or cakes yeah. and pie. And plus, you need to have some, you know, fruits and vegetables. That's right. And, and dips and stuff like that. Yeah. Because it's hard to make a healthy dip too. So. That's right. Yes. So you've really helped me out a lot, Kyung, oh, today. Yeah, a lot of good you. ideas. And I hope you guys at home got good ideas too yeah. from this. That's good. All right. Let's go to our last recipe. Right, coconut cookies. <gasps> Yummy. Okay. For the coconut cookies, we need one and a quarter cups of quick oats, one half cup of whole wheat flour, one and one half cups of unsweetened coconut flakes, one cup of turbinado sugar, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of energy baking powder, three quarter cup of soy milk, one half cup of canola oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla. These cookies look yummy, Kyung. This is delicious. Ooh, yeah, yeah and absolutely. It, I mean, I've been, God inspired me so many cookie recipes, but yes. this is the best cookie you recipe. You did so. <laughs> I hope when you share the best one with you. Absolutely. It must be really good. <laughs> yeah. And it's using all this coconut. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. going to talk about coconut later. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and mix it with a quick oil. Mm -hmm. You know, quick oil is very high in fiber, so it will lower your cholesterol. Yes. And we have some whole wheat flour. Okay. And then I'm using oat flour. Oh, yes. And these, we can either grind up the oats, right, in yeah, your own blender. In the blender. Or you can uh -huh. do that. Okay. Then this is like coconut flakes. You need to have unsweetened coconut flakes. Not the sweetened one. Right. Not sweetened one. Okay. And this is tabinado sugar. Yes. If you cannot find the uh, unsweetened coconut uh -huh. flakes, 
And you can go to regular grocery store, buy some uh, regular coconut flake from there. Okay. They had a lot of unrefined sugar and refined sugar in there. Yes. So what you need to do, wash off the, all the sugar, mm -hmm. then kind of dry and use it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. <laughs> they add quite a bit of sugar then. A lot the of sugar, yeah. They do. And I'm going to add some sea salt. Yes. Now I noticed you use sea salt. Instead of regular uh, salt, what's the purpose for thank that? Thank you for asking. Yeah. Because regular salt, you can get it from grocery stores, it contains uh, sugar, which they call oh. the dextrose. Okay. And then they put some uh, baking soda. They put baking soda yeah. in salt? I asked them, why? <laughs> That's kind of strange. Why do you put all the bad things in the good one? And wow. they said because they want to be over flooding easily. So they're adding a baking soda. They're adding baking soda. Yeah, so that's why I'm using sea salt. Okay. Yeah. Sea salt contains like a calcium and without it, all the harmful yes. things. And this is energy baking powder. Okay, the same baking powder we used before. Right. Okay. And then all we're right. going to go and mix it. I always like to mix dry ingredients first. Absolutely. Then I will just add uh, by the way, do you know anything about coconut flakes? You know, Kion, not really. I mean, mm. that's just a coconut flakes. Coconut, no. coconut milk, mm. coconut oil. You know, when I develop this recipe, I just want to know what coconut will do to our body. Yes. So I did some research and it's amazing. I wanted to share it with you. Coconut is very highly nutritious and very rich in fiber and vitamins. Mm. And it called a functional food or another okay. name for the uh, tree of life. Right. And they're using almost like the medicine. And I'm going to read several what kind of benefit we will get from the coconut. The benefit from the coconut. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's that you will kill the virus that cause herpes, measles, and hepatitis. It kills those viruses? Yeah. Wow. And it kills the bacteria that cause like uh, ulcers uh -huh. and uh, throat infections mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like uh, urinary tract infections. Amazing. And it kills fungi and yeast that cause the ringworm. Ringworm? Yeah, athletic food okay. and rash. Wow. And uh, it amazing. expels or kills tapeworms and parasites, parasites and the lice. Wonderful. Coconuts, it's like an antiviral, antibacterial, yes, antifungal. Yes. Wow. And a natural antibiotic. There's more. Okay. And it helps to protect against osteoporosis. If you have wow. osteoporosis, it lasts okay. like a coconut. Wow. This is for the ladies. Okay. <laughs> if you like to have a beautiful skin, worry about the wrinkles. Yeah. And it will prevent wrinkles and sagging skin yes. and uh, age spots. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. And uh, if you have a thyroid function problem, mm -hmm. and uh, coconut will help you. Wow. to functioning thyroid. Wow. If you have any kind of cancer, like uh, breast cancer, mm -hmm. colon cancer, any kind, it will help you to, uh, to kill the all those wow. cause the cancer. And also it will help control dangerous. It's on and on Danger. and on. Okay. So, so can you, amazing, it's amazing that what God put it in the coconut. Absolutely. Okay. That's so we make you put it in there. And the oil and the vanilla. And, yes. You know, I was thinking, Kyung, when you were reading that, it's amazing because God created these. Right. Do you know? Right. And it's like God made these natural things and He knew when He made them. The, yeah. the helpful benefits yeah. that would be in them. You know? Absolutely. I mean, when I becoming a vegan vegetarian about seven years ago, Mm -hmm. And God heals so many diseases that yes. I have, and Larry has, my husband has. Mm -hmm. and, and I learn, oh, God's health message is in love to us. Absolutely. He loves us so much, He doesn't want us to be suffering. Praise and He God. gives us all the good stuff, especially like, you know, coconut. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, do you need a spoon? Yes. <laughs> kind of stuck here. Yeah, you okay. might need a spoon for that. We're almost out of time here. Let's just okay. tell our friends at home how long we bake it for. Okay, this one, one, let's do the one okay. thing. Let's okay. show you guys we real have, fast here. Do we have a minute? Yeah, we do. We have a minute. Okay. When you do scoop it, make sure that dip it uh, in the coconut. Uh-huh. Then flat it. And just bake it at 350 degrees for okay. 18 minutes. 18 and minutes. 18 minutes, it come out like this. And you can see what it looks like there. Yeah. There's our finished product. Oh, right. it's beautiful. <laughs> Very, very, very nice, young. Yeah. So 18 minutes at 18 350? Minutes. Right. 350. Uh -huh. Okay. Very nice. Do you want to taste a little bit? Oh, yeah. We got time. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a big one. Mmm. 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 It's very, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really delicious.
And you think about all the helpful benefits I just got from eating that coconut mm -hmm. that you shared with us. That's wonderful. That's right. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. thanks for coming, Kyung. We had such a good time. Yes, yes, I did too. We always have a good time together in our party theme. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. It gave me lots of good ideas and stuff. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Try it. <laughs> you will love it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, for our friends at home, our time comes and goes so fast here, especially when we're having a good time in the kitchen. But we're sure that you would like to contact Kyung for yourself. Maybe you would like one of her four cookbooks or her soon-to-be fifth one on desserts. Maybe you'd like her to come to your area to do a cooking school or a health lecture or to help you out in any way. Here is the information that you will need to contact her for yourself, and she'd love to help you. If you'd like to contact Kyung Weathersby for one of her cookbooks, or if you'd like to invite her to come to your area, you can reach her in many ways. You can write to Taste of Heaven, 4756 Highway 8 East, Mena, Arkansas, 71953. That's Taste of Heaven, 4756 Highway 8 East, Mena, Arkansas, 71953. You can call 479-243-9216. That's 479-243-9216. Or you can visit her website at kyongcw.com. Again, kyongcw.com. Contact her today. She'd love to hear from you. Hello, I'm Carrie Christian, and we want you to know that we'll be in the Las Vegas, Nevada area soon for a 3 a.m. and weekend television rally. Come down to the Paradise Seventh-day Adventist Church at 4575 South Sand Hill Road in Las Vegas. We'd love to meet you in person. It all starts on Friday, January 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific Time as Jim Gilly hosts the Bible Questions Live program where our panel members will answer questions from the audience using only the Bible as their guide. We'll be blessed to have Pastors Kenneth Cox, Calvin Rock, Scott Schaefer, John Loma Kang, and C.A. Murray with us. We'll also have Shelley Quinn with us as well. In addition, we'll be blessed by the musical talents of morning song Christian recording artists Steve Darmody and Jennifer LaMountain. Our Saturday broadcast begins with Sabbath School at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, followed by a divine worship service with Pastor Jim Gilley at 11. Then at 2.30 p.m. Pacific, you'll enjoy a worshipful afternoon program featuring music, testimonies, and a powerful sermon by Pastor Kenneth Cox. If you forget the dates and times, they're printed for you at the beginning of the TV listings in our January edition of 3ABN World Magazine. And remember, magazine subscriptions are absolutely free. And speaking of listings, the month of January brings two new television programs to our lineup. Kelly Maurer is the host for Praise, a new version of our program now featuring interesting stories and backgrounds on the hymn authors as well as information and personal stories from Kelly's many years of music ministry. Her love for Jesus and her winning smile are sure to touch your heart as you watch and listen. Making Waves is a new television program produced by Adventist World Radio. You'll be fascinated by the incredible stories of those who share how they first heard about Jesus through listening to AWR's shortwave radio broadcasts. Find out about the culture, religion, and economy of each place they visit, and more importantly, how the power of the Holy Spirit is transforming their lives. We praise God for what He is doing through AWR's ministry and look forward to this excellent program. At this time of year, you may want to send a special gift to help further 3ABN's ministry. We trust that the Holy Spirit will speak to the hearts of those who would support our efforts to carry the good news about Jesus to every corner of the world. We rely on your generosity to carry on this important work, and we want to thank you. If you'd like to support, you can do so by sending your tax-deductible love gifts to 3ABN, Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896. Thank you for all that you do for this ministry, and may the Lord richly bless you. Welcome back, friends. We're here with this delicious spread of food, aren't we, Kyo? Yes, I had such a wonderful time cooking with you. That's right. Yeah. Let's look at what we made today. Okay, first one, I'll show you how to make lunch meat. Mmm, don't they look good? Absolutely. With the lunch meat, we made some BLT. <laughs> yes. The third one, I'll show you how to make tofu miracle whip with yes. the baby tray. 
Yes. Then with that, I'll make some chicken like salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks so that good. That was awesome, you then guys. Then pecan mm -hmm. pie without any eggs. Yes. Oh, they're yummy. Oh, yeah. Then Looks good with the pecans. we make some kettle of chocolate uh, cupcakes. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The last That's one, right. we, I'll show you how to make some coconut cookies. Mm. delicious. Oh yeah, that was mm. really good too. Yeah. Yes. Well friends, we had such a good time yes. today here in the kitchen and we hope you had a good time as mm. well. Until we see you next time, God bless you. Enjoy these recipes and have a good time at your party. Amen.